really accurate angles. Before we begin, we're going to go through our classroom expectations. Who can tell me what they are? Yep. So we've got listening first time, every time to your teacher. Raising our hand when asking a question. Asking questions is encouraged during our classroom. And respect for our teachers, ourselves and our peers. Very good, grade five. We're gonna go through our success criteria for today's lesson. So as I said, we're learning about angles. All together, can we please read out our success criteria? Students will be successful when they can. Use a protractor to read, angle, read what degree an angle is, create accurate angles, and identify the different types of angles. Breaking this down a little bit further, who can tell me what a degree is? When I say we are gonna be measuring degrees of an angle, what do I mean? Yep, a degree is a sign, but where does our sign go? Yep, it goes at the end of our number. What do I mean by accurate? Yep, I want to get as close to the number on the protractor as possible when measuring my angle. We're going to watch a quick video about different types of angles. At the end, I'll be asking you questions, so please pay attention.
anywhere in the room they can see an angle. Yep, the laptop screen has an angle. What type of angle is this one? Just by having a look at it, what do you think it might be? Yep, a right angle. Can anyone see another one in the room? Yep, our clock. Very good. Using our hands, can everyone show me what a right angle looks like? Yep, it should look like this. Who can show me what an acute angle might look like with their hands? Very good, it's less than 90 degrees. What about an obtuse angle? Yep, very good, it's greater than 90 degrees. And how about a straight angle, a straight line? Yep, very good. If I was to ask, what type of angle would measure 120 degrees? What would you say and why? Yep, it is an obtuse angle, but why is it an obtuse angle? Because it's greater than 90 degrees. Very good. I will give you a moment now to write down these angles into your books. Once you have finished, can you please put your hands on your head so I know you are done. Tractors. So I will start off first. I've pulled out 65 degrees. I'm going to grab my protractor, place it onto the board. I'm going to draw a dot where the vertex will go and draw a line, a straight line. So I'm doing 65 degrees. At 65 degrees, I know that this is an acute angle because it is less than 90 degrees. So I'm gonna find 65 degrees and I'm gonna accurately, accurately place a dot where that goes. I am then gonna create the angle and label it 65 degrees Acute. I'm then going to draw another one. I got 170 degrees. So again, I'm going to draw a dot where the vertex is, draw a line, measure 170 degrees. I know that this is going to be an obtuse angle because it is greater than 90 degrees. So I'm going to accurately place a dot where I think the degree, the angle will go and I'll create the angle. Questions. Once students have worked through these two problems on the board with the teacher, they will be given a worksheet to complete individually. In this worksheet, they will be asked to measure the different angles and write down what angle this is. So it will be an obtuse, acute, right angle, so forth. For students who finish early, they will be provided with a reflex angle worksheet. Students haven't actually learnt this topic yet in grade in our grade five lesson. 
However, they will be learning it in a few lessons time. So it's a bit of a challenge just to see where they're at. And, and the other worksheet that will be provided is for students who are struggling. So that might be our EALD students. They will be asked to choose three colors and color each angle a different color. So all the right angles will be colored the same, co same color and so forth with the obtuse and acute angle. They'll also answer a few questions down the bottom. All right, grade fives, that concludes our lesson. Before we finish up, who can tell me what a reflex angle is? Yeah, correct, it is greater than 180 degrees. How about with your hands, please, can you show me what an acute angle looks like? Very good. Now, can I get everyone to close their eyes for me? Using your hand, thumbs up if you feel comfortable with what we have learned today and are ready to move on. Finger, thumbs down if you are struggling and you might need a bit of help. Keep your eyes closed. Very good. Hands down, open your eyes. Grade fives, can you please grab out your books and a pencil? I would like you to write one sentence. In this sentence, can you please either write Can you please write something you either learned, something new that you learned, something you found interesting, or something that you still might need help with? Once you have finished that, hand that to me and we can get to go to lunch a bit earlier. Thank you, Grade Fives.